Check out this scary scene tonight in Beaumont. Folks near I-10 and MLK caught this small tornado on video. This is part of one of the feeder bands from Barrel that came ashore. Thomas Williams sharing this video with us. He took it around 7.30 tonight. Now let's talk about extreme weather, something we report on here a lot at BBC News and many of you are all too familiar, too familiar with its effects. Wildfires, storms, hurricanes and flooding have pushed up costs for the insurance and reinsurance industry. In the UK, weather damage insurance claims were worst on record last year, according to the Association of British Insurers. This massive rise was largely fueled by the succession of storms that struck last autumn. In June this year, Swiss Re, one of the world's biggest reinsurers, said the industry significantly underestimated the fallout from recent natural disasters across Europe and warn that some areas have become uninsurable and in Texas right now millions of homes are out of power in the aftermath of Hurricane Beryl. About 145 million people are under heat alerts. And the National Weather Service calls the situation extremely dangerous. In California, dozens of active wildfires add to the danger. Temperatures have topped 120 degrees in some parts of the West. Carter Evans is watching all of this for us. Burning just outside Santa Barbara, the lake fire is more than quadrupled in size since Friday and has now charred more than 18,000 acres with little containment. It's one of at least 21 fires burning in California alone, and it's prompted evacuations along with threatening homes near Michael Jackson's former home, Neverland Ranch. The heat and the low humidity is making these fires grow quickly. And California's not just dealing with wildfires, the state's in the midst of an historic heat wave.